What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV and in today's video it's going to be, as you can see from the title, about my first time. Now, don't worry, that's not what most of you will be thinking, it's about my first time front squatting. And actually something else which is really, really cool which you'll see later on in the video, it's very, very exciting, I can't, I literally, I can't wait to tell you guys. Anyway, as you guys can see here, I warmed up just like usual with some bodyweight squats, then the bar and then a very light set of back squats. Then moving into front squats, keeping it very, very light. This is because I had no idea what it was going to feel like, and as you can see, I'm moving around, trying to find the right grip and find what's comfortable for me. But once I found it, I took my time, found a nice solid stance, and then squatted. And it was surprisingly easy, I just didn't want to go too heavy, because the aim of this was to shock the muscles and learn something new, because mixing it up can be key in your training, keeping things interesting and keeping your body guessing. Like, so me and Cam the cameraman just thought we'd give it a go, and do you know what? It went pretty well, only working up to 50 kilos, which is less than half of my back squat, but that's absolutely fine. Like I said, the point was to train the central nervous system, train those pathways, and have an enjoyable session. And that is exactly what we did. So in all, all in all, if you ask me, it was a success. The rest of the session was just a usual stiff-legged deadlift. Next up was the leg press. Again, going high reps on that to make up for the volume that we didn't really get because it's the same weight we wouldn't use for the front squat. I'm definitely going to up it next time. But following on from that was the, all of the isolation movements. Firstly, calf raises using the leg press. That's my favorite way of doing it. You can go past 90 degrees. Great contraction, great pump, great exercise altogether, guys. Don't skip calves. Don't even skip legs. In fact, forget calves. Don't even skip leg day. Everything to do with legs, do not skip them. The benefit from it will be ridiculous. But anyway, following on from calf raises was leg extensions, followed again by hamstring curls using the bench. I've actually upped this weight recently because just, I don't know, just trying to get as much volume and get as much weight on those isolation movements as possible while maintaining good form. Remember. So that concludes the session, guys. And overall, it was a great session. I definitely recommend front squats. Uh, and I'm considering doing one front squat session, one back squat session every single week. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on that. So thanks for watching the commentary, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. And back to me vlogging uh, now. All right, guys, how's it going? Hopefully you did enjoy that commentary. If you did, let me know by leaving a like. Comment and subscribe for loads more content similar to that and loads more different stuff over the summer and when we're back at university as well. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to head over to Leicester to get some last minute holiday bits. It's only about 10 or 12 days until I actually go to Ibiza. The countdown, the clock is ticking. I'm very excited. I'll see you guys in there. All right, how's it going guys? Um, training session yesterday that you just saw, honestly, was it was just shit. It, it really was. I mean, I, I felt weak. Uh, I didn't lift as much. I, I just, it, the pump wasn't as good. I mean, the pump was still there, but it wasn't great. Um, and to be honest with you, that is okay, purely because, I'll, t I'll tell you the reason why, purely because it, Normally that's a sign that my weight has dropped, but my body hasn't quite caught up with it. Normally the, the strength kind of decrease sort of obviously goes in line with the body weight, body fat percentage drop. So that normally means that my body's kind of holding on to it, holding on to it, and then ready for it to drop. So I'm hoping that that will either happen today or tomorrow. It didn't happen today, which again is just 
it's just really annoying, it's really starting to get in my head and time's ticking and Ibiza is getting closer and closer and closer and closer. But there's still nothing that I can do about it, I'm just, I'm just staying as consistent with, with my training as I can, just doing everything I possibly can to reach those goals guys. So what I'm actually doing right now is some of my PT work. I have my practical assessment on Wednesday so I'll do a video for that on you guys. Just sipping here on a monster and about to have a nice little Hartley's Jelly Pot snack. You guys know that these are my saviours so I'm going to crack on. I think I also got to help out dad a little bit of work later as well. We just got some heavy lifting to do. He needs the gains. <laughs> and I have a pretty damn cool thing to show you guys later. Stay tuned. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys what has pretty much been my staple lunch for the whole time I've been cutting. The whole time I've been at home, this is just an easy two minute meal you can make using a bag of rice. There's a whole bag of rice there, Uncle Ben's rice. About half a tin of beans and a tin of tuna. And the reason that that has been my staple lunch is just because if I'm doing work or like my PT or if I'm training soon and I just want to get a quick meal down me then it's something you can get ready in two minutes. Even if you don't have bagged rice, you can have it in ten minutes when you make rice by yourself. And the reason I love it is just because it doesn't seem to get old, just because this, the beans, the juice from the beans saves you using ketchup for everything, for everything else. The rice, I mean, I just like plain rice as it is anyway, and the tuna, I mean, is pretty much the only fish I like, but I've had it ever since I was a kid, so it's never really been an issue for me. Also, I know it looks like a hell of a lot of food, but actually this is a teeny tiny bowl, look, so it, it looks like a lot, but it's actually only like four, 500 calories, and that, for a lunch, pre-workout meal, is pretty damn good. Quick IB for physique update. Right, so as you can see, there's a lot more leanness coming in, in the shoulders and the arms and all that kind of stuff now. So I'm very happy with the direction that I'm going in, guys. We're going to get there eventually with that consistent training. So I have a lot of you are probably wondering what the hell that footage was that you just seen. And that was actually the other very exciting thing that I mentioned earlier on in the video. And that is me purchasing my very own domain name. That is right, guys. The website is in full swing. I've told you it was coming, and it is coming thick and fast. We are preparing. I have a good friend of mine helping me out with the website. So thank you, Dan, if you are watching this. You are doing me a massive, massive favor, mate. The reason I'm so excited is just because it's going to allow me to give so much better customer service, give you guys so much easier updates. It's going to give you guys an easier experience when you're purchasing the clothes. I can keep you guys updated constantly with emails and messages and everything like that. It's just going to be so much easier and it's going to be a massive step up for me guys and for you as well. Because at the end of the day, what I strive to do every single day is provide the best customer service possible in the easiest and most efficient way possible. And this is just another way, another step forward to achieving that. So I'm very excited and I hope you guys are too. Leave a comment and leave your thoughts down below. Another little update is that I have my PT level 2 assessment tomorrow guys. So I'll be vlogging that and giving you guys updates on social media media follow using the links in the description box down below if you haven't already you are missing out on constant updates rather than just a couple of videos every single week I do post daily updates daily pictures daily videos everything like that just to keep you guys updated so and I do actually get a hell of a lot of positive feedback from that so I'm glad you guys enjoy it just as much as I enjoy making it that really does that, that really does make my day when I get positive comments like that. But anyway, one more update I have is about LSJ orders. The supplier has told me it will either be the 29th or the 30th when he manages to get the orders finished. That's purely because he had a massive backlog, but it, he is back on track now and it will take him a few days to get the stuff ready. So the 29th to the 30th. That does mean, because I'm going on holiday on the 1st, going to Ibiza on the 1st of September, that does mean it is going to be very, very rushed. However, you guys have waited long enough and I will be sure to get those packages out to you as long as the supplier comes through with what he has promised me at this, at this point in time. It is probably going to be a massive pain in the arse for me, but at the end of the day, like I said earlier, what I strive to do every single day is provide the best customer service, the best videos, the best content, the best clothing, everything that I can possibly do to the best of my ability. And that is exactly what I'm going to do right before I be for guys. So that is going to round off today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for those PT updates. And also if you have any more questions about the website, any more questions about what well, anything, just drop a comment down below or DM me on any, any form of social media. So guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. The family is getting so much bigger now. 
and I just I can't wait for what's the, I can't wait for the future, guys. I really can't. I can't I can't wait for what's to come with the website, PT training, online training programs, more clothes, all sorts of stuff is coming in the future, guys. And together we will grow. So thank you so much for watching today, guys. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.